Well, 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 good Tuesday to everybody out there. And uh, Matt, we got a little reprieve from the 90s and 100s. It's only in the 80s today and only in Perfect. the 80s, I think, the rest of the week. Perfect. I, a little bit, anything past 90s is too hot for me. A little so. too hot. It's been a hot It's been a hot summer, obviously. It's probably good, hopefully, for the fires that are all around that we can kind of cool down just a little bit. And we're um, back on schedule with the Tuesday tidbits. we're back on schedule, yep. A little... Uh, Rare Wednesday weren't for you last week. Well, today, you guys, we're going to talk about, we're calling it the killer bees, and we're going to take a microscope into not just Bend, but some other cities around Bend, at least regionally, or at least in the western mountain areas, that are similar, and try to uh, analyze why exactly um, our market has, has shot up, and if we're on pace with, with other places. So today, we're looking at Boise, Idaho, Bozeman, Montana, and Boulder, Colorado. And the crazy thing, Matt, is when we've talked about this, you all have felt this, Bend real estate prices have shot up in the last year. Uh, ever since, you know, we had about a six week freeze when COVID started, and then it's just been full steam ahead. And uh, so we were curious, what have these other mountain towns that we think are in direct competition with Bend? Yeah. What have they done? And how attractive are we still today compared to you know any time maybe in this last year or before that? Yeah, and I think this is important to do to kind of pull back from just our local market here, where people who have been in Bend for you know a decade or two are freaking out, saying, "Oh my gosh, prices are so high! This is yeah. ridiculous! We have to crash!" You know, um, this is just absurd. And when you compare it to other markets, it's not absurd. Grant, I thought you found a couple great stats online, um, just kind of the general national market in the past, I think it's over the past year, over a trillion dollars in new wealth have been created for homeowners in the United States. And what used to be a stat that net worth of owners of real estate versus renters was about 45 times as high, is now 80 times as higher. So people who own their home have a net worth 80 times higher than people that rent on average. That is just, it's kind of hard to fathom that. But that's, I mean, you can feel it with how real estate prices have gone up and what people have you know, been able to sell their homes for. And, uh, you know, I think that that trend, while it might not jump that quickly, that immediately moving forward, you know, I think that'll continue to rise. Yeah. So based on the stats we were able to find, we're kind of going April to April uh, over this past year. So Boise, it's about double, it's a little more than double our size, yeah. a population of 250,000. So a larger market, their median home price is 500,000, but that's a 40% appreciation since last year. And yeah. that 40% matches what what Bend has experienced. So, you know, if we're using Bend as our baseline, our population is roughly 110,000. Our median price as of April was 651,000, so higher than Boise, uh, but less inventory. And again, that was a a 40% 40 appreciation um, from April the the previous year. Now looking at Bozeman, which is about a little less than half the size, their current population is around 46,000. Their median home price is 730,000. Yeah. And that appreciated 44% uh, over that past year. So a little bit higher appreciation there. Smaller and, market, but a higher median. And I'd price. say Boz- Bozeman was just in the Wall Street Journal today uh, about the best, the best new mountain town to move to. That I, you know, Bend has been on the top of the charts for a decade. It feels like Matt on all of these national publications. Of, we lost the podium. But it feels like Bozeman, at least maybe not forever. But right now, Bozeman, I think has. Eclipse Ben, and I think my my opinion on on the biggest reason for that is what you just hinted on with the population. So it's half the size. A lot of people are trying to find the next fled bend. the cities, moving to kind of smaller areas. Bend is now up over hundred thousand. Bozeman's just under fifty, and so that becomes attractive to a lot of people. Now, what I would consider probably our most comparable market would be Boulder, Colorado. Our two cities are often, you know, compared. There's definitely buyers that come into our market that are shopping both markets. So this is, in my opinion, kind of a vision of where Bend could be heading. So their population is roughly 106,000, very comparable to Bend's. Their median home price is 1.5 million there. Right? Yeah, twice, du- over double ours. Over double ours. Um, and that's a 55% appreciation. So similar to Bend, but even more so, they've seen a ton of people flooding into that market to just enjoy the quality of life that they... Um, that's afforded there, uh, but you know it costs a lot more to live there than it does to live in Bend, and I think the two cities are very, very comparable. So, yeah. you know, will they come down and meet us, or will we come up and 
and I made think them the biggest. A... I think the biggest difference I take away from Boulder, well, two of them are they're closer to a big city. They're, I think, probably half. You know, we're three hours from Portland. I think they're like an hour, maybe, maybe an hour and a half from Denver. And yeah. then they have University of Colorado there. So higher education, not just the jobs that it creates while they're on campus, but then the the higher paying jobs that come out of higher education with startups and just innovation have probably generated more wealth than we haven't been. And I, that, that gap will probably continue. But to, I agree with you 100%. Boulder is... I think as we've talked about it and looked at today, Boulder is kind of the rabbit out in front of Bend. And so that's why I'm confident. And I asked, I put you on the spot last week, maybe in our newsletter, about when you thought we were going to eclipse the million dollar price yeah. point. And I think you said 2027, I said 2024, and I bet you we land right in the middle. But I think that's where we're headed, is that if they're at 1.5 right now, the idea of us getting to a million is not that far-fetched. It's not. No, it really isn't. And like I said, in this kind of new world we live in, Everything's relative, and you got to be comparing yourself to other markets to kind of you know forecast where we're heading. Um, so that's what we did today. I hope that was helpful and interesting. A lot of meat there. That was that was. I don't even need lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching. See ya. Hey, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Our handles are shown here on the screen, and you can always find our contact information or more about us on www.buysellbend.com. Thanks.